Hey, what's up guys, Soldier Knows Best there. So this is the new Omen, and this is a part of HP's gaming desktop line. And so a quick shout out to Omen for sending this computer over and sponsoring this video so I can give you my own opinion about it and show you what it's about. Um, so they make two different versions of this computer. So this is the 30L version. They also do make a 25L, and basically these names represent the amount of liters of space that you have to mess around with. Um, and so before I get to performance, I'm gonna get to that in a second, but I just wanna talk real quick about the design because sometimes with gaming computers um, you find that the manufacturers go too overboard with lighting and you know different type of effects and graphics but Omen has made a sleek looking sexy sexy computer here because I wouldn't mind sitting this on my desk in my gaming room or if I saw this like on a desk in a corporate office I think it will fit in too so uh, you have this glass side panel um, you have the logos on the front you know nothing really stands out too much but it just really looks good and it's gotten some compliments sitting on my desk as other people have have seen it so far and just looking around this computer you will find a number of inputs on the back and also at the top including your microphone and audio inputs and also multiple USB type A ports and you will find one single USB type C port on the back but I do wish they added another one of those on the top so you just had easier access especially if you're just trying to plug in a phone or something. And you can also configure this Omen 30L with a 92 millimeter air cooler or an 120 millimeter liquid cooler. But like most gaming computers, you do have some RGB lighting going on here. So you have some on the CPU fan and also you have a light right there at the top of this chassis. And then also too, you do have a 120 millimeter front intake fan on this version. Um, you don't find that at all on the 25 liter version, um, but that one is also going to be RGB. So you can go into the Omen Command Center software that comes pre-installed on this computer. And so now you can get in here and customize the lights to make them look how you want. So you can customize each one of them in individually and you can have them like randomly change colors and things like that and this computer also comes with HyperX RAM which has RGB as well and you can customize that in this software too but yeah RGB lighting uh, everything else with the design of this computer I am happy with so this desktop will live on top of my desk yeah corny I know but it will Okay, so now let's talk about specs. So this computer does have the base level specs that you get when you go to HP's website and you start building your own. And you can mix up the components of this computer, including some from Intel and also AMD and Nvidia. And so this particular machine that I have here today does have uh, the AMD Ryzen 5 3600 six core processor. It does have the Nvidia GTX 1660 Super, and also it does have eight gigabytes of HyperX RAM. And then it does have a 200 256 gigabyte NVMe SSD and then also a one terabyte hard drive that's going to be really used for storage. And so I'm not a heavy super duty benchmarker, so I'm not gonna hit you with a bunch of specs, but I will just show you some of my gaming experience using this computer. And I have to say that just to kind of sum everything up, this is a really good computer for like medium high gaming. Now medium high does sound like the temperature that you put something on when you're about to cook it, but um, when you go into most games, you really don't find a medium high setting. You either find medium or high. And I found that with this system, I just use a combination of both. And so for example, when I was playing a game like Apex Legends, I found that I had most of the settings settings on high because that game runs pretty well on most systems um, and I was really happy with the frames per seconds that I was getting with this computer and then when I went over to something like Star Wars though which can be a little bit more demanding my mix of medium and high settings were more closer to each other with this particular game so look you're not going to turn everything on super ultra <laughs> with this particular setup but you can play a lot of games and for me I was really satisfied with the performance of this computer but if you do just want to get more power out of this system you can customize it when you are building it and spend a little bit more money, but you can get more top of the line Intel or AMD processors. And then also for the GPU, you can get up to an RTX 2080 Ti or a Radeon RX 5700 XT. And no matter which configuration you choose, you can always just upgrade this computer later if you want. So next year, if you wanna spend some more money and pop a new GPU in there, you can do it. And HP has made it really easy with this toolless entry because it just has a button on the back, you press that, and then this glass side panel pops off. And then now you can get in there, have some fun, and upgrade your system. Now, before we move on, do you hear that? Yeah, I don't either. So this computer has been on the entire time, but the fans are pretty silent. So it's a pretty silent machine. Even when you are gaming, the fans do ramp up a little bit, but nothing to be distracting. Uh, but then also to in the command center software, you can adjust the fan speed yourself. So uh, for this video recording, I do have it on silent, uh, but you can turn the fans up. Or you can kind of keep them regular depending on what you're doing with the computer. Oh, and the monitor that I've been using in this video is the new Omen 27i. Uh, and this is a quad HD 1440p display 
display um, that is nano IPS, so it has really good viewing angles. I was able to look to the side of it uh, and everything still looked really good. Um, and then also it is going to be anti-glare, so it's not gonna have any type of glossy finish. And the colors are on point as well, but you can customize the look of the display if you want um, by going into the command center software. And so now you can make the color a little bit warmer, a little bit cooler, and then also they have their HP Enhance Plus. And so this option is going to add some more pop to what you're looking at on the screen. And you can also increase the response time of this monitor. So if you are doing some competitive gaming, you can turn that up to help you get an edge. Now, I don't need to do that because my skills are always on point. I'm lying. I'm getting older. My response time is getting slower, uh, but you can do that. Um, and this monitor also does have some customizable ambient lighting on the bottom and also on the back. So just like with the desktop, um, you can go into that command center software and adjust that lighting as well. And on the back of this 27i monitor, you will find all of your ports, including your headphone port, HDMI 2.0, DisplayPort 1.2, a couple of USB 3.0 ports, and also you will find this joystick that's used to change the settings of the monitor. And this is one of the best ones that I've used on a display because sometimes they can suck, but this one makes it really easy to change your settings on the fly. And adjusting this monitor is super easy just by raising it up and down or tilting it forward and backwards. Now you also will see a spot there on this monitor stand that allows you to place your gaming headset, which is pretty convenient to kind of keep your desk from being cluttered. And speaking of headsets, this is the Omen Mindframe Prime headset. And this one is cool because it does have their frost cap technology, meaning that it does have a cooling tech inside of the ear cups. And these did work because when I play sometimes, I sometimes get sweaty and hot. Yeah, I am one of those type of players. Um, but when I had these on my ears and I took them off, I mean, it was a, a very nice feeling. And this headset does have some RGB lighting that you can customize. You can customize the EQ um, in the command center software. Um, and the microphone quality was just fine when I did ask people uh, when I was playing. And it does uh, flip up to mute and flip down when you are ready to talk. And if you ever find yourself wanting to take this headset on the road with you, you can also pick up the Transceptor headset case. It's hard shell, so some good protection, a little bit of organization on the inside. And yeah, it also looks good. Now this computer does come with a wired mouse and wired keyboard inside of the box, but they're kind of basic, right? I mean, they get the job done, but Omen does also have their Photon wireless mouse if you wanna get some more RGB in your life. Um, and then also too, it is customizable, so you can pop off some things here and there and swap them out with other things that come inside of the box with this mouse. And it's a pretty comfortable mouse and it works really well uh, with their mouse pad that they have as well. And this is their Outpost mouse pad. And so this has RGB lighting around the side. Yes, RGB for days um, but it also does provide wireless chi charging so um, you can charge your mouse just by placing it on this little point at the top of the mouse pad and it'll give you about five watts of a charge and instead of your mouse you can also place your phone if it does have wireless charging and start charging that at the same time while you're gaming now that surface point as far as where you need to place your device to get charged uh, it is a little small and it did take me a little while to get used to it so I find myself like placing it down and making sure I watch to make sure that little indicator light on the front activates um, because yeah it, it is a little small I wish it was a little bit bigger and the mat for this mouse pad is dual sided so you have a soft side and also a hard side depending on how you like it and you can choose which one you want to go with that and on the back of this mouse pad you will find one single USB port that can be used for pass through so you can plug in something like the USB dongle that comes with the wireless mouse inside of that port and now that will free up a USB port on the back of your computer for something else Okay, so now just getting back to the main star of the show before we close out here. Um, this is a really good computer, and I know some people out there are gonna say you can build one for cheaper yourself. Yes, that is mostly true, um, but I think a lot of people don't wanna do that. <laughs> and so if you're just trying to get a computer that's ready to go out of the box, this is a really good one. So yeah, this gets my stamp of approval, and so if you do wanna pick one of these up, the 30L starts at $1199, and the 25L starts at $899, and those prices are coming from HP's website, but for the 30L, if you don't really need that RGB CPU fan, you can pick it up starting at $949 from Best Buy. And then the 27i monitor will run you $499. So yeah, I'm wrapping up and I'm about to go play some games. So thanks for watching this video and I will catch you later. Peace.